War Diary Day 583 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Vladimir Putin turns 71 this Saturday, October the 7th. And to celebrate that event, and celebrate is not the right word, uh, we're holding the Vladimir Putin Do Fuck Off Festival here in Kiev, and we're doing it for a number of reasons, one of which is to raise money for Ukraine charities. And perhaps the bigger one is to remind people this bloody war is continuing. Right now, my friends in the Ukrainian army are fighting for their lives and fighting for their liberty. And they're also fighting for us. So, so if you can support uh, what we're doing, and if you can't think about Ukraine, talk about Ukraine, write a letter to your MP, um, or you don't live in Britain or somewhere else, whatever they're called. But don't forget this war. Don't forget the cruelty of it. Don't forget the rapes and the castrations. Don't forget the housing blocks have been smashed up by artillery or by rockets. Don't forget the pointlessness of it. This is a democracy of peace. Well, it was before the war started, and it's still a democracy which believes in the rule of law and decency and humanity. No, oh, you know, multiple examples, but here's one. Ukrainian authorities allow the Red Cross into their prisoner of war camps so that they can see that Russian soldiers who have been captured are being treated honorably and properly. And the Russians don't do that. If you think I'm not telling the truth, read, read Aidan Aslan's book, Putin's Prisoner, or Sean Pinner's book, Live, Fight, Survive. I mean, the stories are terrible. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. <laughs>